I am definitely happy and I'm more happy to be chatting to this next guest that we are about to be speaking to. But if you'd like to, of course, take your life back and inject positivity into your thoughts, then all it takes is 15 minutes a day for 21 days to build that confidence. Now, the upcoming second edition of Lucia Dramat's book, 21 Days in Full Bloom, helps readers do just that by guiding you to find your fuel for life and rediscover your purpose and motivation. Now, the life coach, media personality, motivational speaker joins us this morning to share more about her career journey and passion to motivate others to their full potential. Lucia, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing well. How are you? It's so, so good. And, and I can like just feel your energy, your vibrance. I know about the life you're living, which is absolutely exceptional, but this wasn't always the case. Absolutely. What is it that actually resulted in this life-changing persona that you've adopted and eventually now shared with the world? Okay, well, a few years ago, I was always this girl that wanted big dreams and wanted to do big things, but then I started this business and it failed. Okay. And I felt so low. I felt like an absolute loser and I knew I needed to do something big to just get confident and strong again. So I started filling myself with motivation. I read the books, I, read, I listened to podcasts, I watched different things. And once I felt, hey, I've got my confidence back, then I was bursting and I needed to do something more because I was strong and I was ready to help other people get strong as well. So you're saying you literally made that decision to say, I want to include this in my life, right? And then from that, you felt the change, am I correct? Absolutely. What, is, what was that change exactly? And what made you decide that, firstly, I feel this, and secondly, this is something that I want to apply and maybe help others with? How did that come about? I think when you fill yourself with good, there comes this point where it bursts out. Yeah. You can't stop it. So the more you put in, in the beginning, you're like, oh, another podcast, oh, another book. <laughs> but eventually you're like, another book, yeah, another podcast. And you add it and you add it and you fill yourself. And when you get to that place, you're ready to enjoy your life. Mm. You've unlocked your mind to see that there's so much more to life. It's not limited to your circumstances, but it's limited by what you think you can have, what you want to put out there in life, and what you want to take out of life, because life is yours for the taking. But if you sit there waiting for life to fall into your lap, it's never going to happen. I absolutely love that. It's, you're speaking of someone that loves to take charge, of course. And what you've done, it seems to be someone, you seem to be someone that's practicing what they preach. So why then decide, look, this is something that clearly is working for me, I'm seeing the results, but now you've taken it a step further and you seem to have made this somewhat of a life mission to share this message with everybody else. Why is that important to you? I've always wanted to help people and I'm not a doctor or a lawyer <laughs> or any of those uh, practical industries. And so I thought, how can I help people and what is my purpose? And seeing people unlock that bigger picture for themselves, really step into their purpose, feel satisfied, feel motivated and also get that twinkle in their eye. That is <laughs> priceless. I love doing that. And that that gives me so much value, that makes me feel that I'm making a difference, I'm making my mark, and I think everyone wants to feel that way. Even though it's in different industries, in different jobs, in different ways, you can feel like you've made a mark, and when you do, you start to feel satisfied, you lose the frustration, and you start to really enjoy your life because you know you're putting your best foot forward. So by doing that for other people, I know I'm putting my best foot forward. Rishi, you sound like someone that's speaking out of pure flow state, is what I like to call. There's no more friction. What you're doing is purely coming from passion, and yet it's serving such a greater purpose. So I absolutely love that. So uh, kudos to you on that. But even more so, I'm hearing uh, the fact that you're also creating niches and you're supporting women, which is something that's so important right now. You've got these workshops that you're doing. You're a businesswoman, you're an entrepreneur, so you're sharing these skills. So talk to me about this. What's happening in that front? I think that we're in a world where women are independent. And with all the ladies becoming so independent, we still need support. We still need community. There are ladies that want to become independent and they're right there on the fence and yeah. they need the help. So whether you already stepped into your independent zone, living your best life, or whether you are on the fence and you're trying to get into the game, either way, that support, that community, that encouragement is necessary. Sometimes we need to pause and we need to say, where am I? Is this what I really want? Um, am I doing my best? Am I happy? And I provide that space for people to just pause, think, reevaluate, get clarity, and then focus on what is important and really get all the other stuff out of the way because there's a lot happening all the time. Yeah. So really putting those things down, focusing on where you want to go, and then go for it because I think we need sisterhood and it's important. I love what you're saying and I love the fact that you're mentioning that we do need to slow down and, and, and take cognizance. But with that being said, how often would you suggest doing that? I mean, often we can do it at the beginning of the year and then action mode until 
2022 and then we've lost everything by the wayside. So how often should we be checking in with ourselves? How often do you eat? Okay, <laughs> I see you, I see you. Okay, cool, Look, so every um, single day. Just, you know, what lifestyle and keeping your mind, maintaining your mind, maintaining your emotions, knowing where you're going, what you're doing. I think it's something you do daily. All you right. eat daily, you look after your body daily. Why wouldn't you look after your mind and your emotions daily? Doesn't mean it has to be five hours every day. Sometimes it's just 15 minutes. Sometimes once a month, something bigger. Once a quarter, a whole day workshop. But you do at your pace where you know I'm always feeling strong, mm. I'm feeling focused, and I'm ready to do what I need to do. I love that. You're relating it to food, and I think the fuel in that is just so pertinent. Now, talk to me about the second edition of your book, 21 Days in Full Bloom. What can we, can, what can we expect? What guidance do you have for people out there? Okay, so the book is all about managing your mind and your emotions. Everything you do, your energy, your mindset, what you do, your businesses, the opportunities you take, what you don't take, it all comes out of your mind. If you don't feel good, you're not going to do it. Or you're not going to do that good of a job. So to manage your mind, to manage your emotions and your mindset, I put different things in the book, taking out the limiting beliefs, really identifying what they are. Sometimes we don't even know they're there. And then also putting in those positive thoughts, the thoughts that actually give us the lifestyle we want, putting in the affirmation, putting in gratitude. So it's all about managing those things, getting your boundaries in place so that you can live well. Absolutely love it. Lushidra, thank you so, so much. Of course, now you can take us back and uh, if you'd like to draw positivity into your, your life as well, of course, Mzanzi, then you can too by entering and standing a chance to win a copy of Lucia's book. And all you've got to do is simply answer the question, what positive affirmation do you repeat to yourself on Expresso's Facebook, Twitter and Instagram pages and you could be our lucky winner. And for, don't forget, of course, the competition closes at midnight tonight and your T's and C's can be found on expressoshow.com. Lucia, thank you so much for your time, thank and I'm looking forward to the rest of your magic. <laughs>